Hello, my name is William and in this video I will show you how to retrieve data from a source of information and then add it to a dashboard in Red Hat Process Automation Manager 7. So the first thing we have to do is create a data source. So we go here to the administration tasks, look for data sets and create a new data set. You can select any of these types for this demo I will be using SQL and I will be accessing uh, Process Automation Manager database. So what I want to show is the tasks that are running per process uh, definition. Let me add some name to it. Per process definition. Select the data source. I will use the default one because I already created some process instance with some data. And now let me uh, add the query. So I have the query here. And when you are adding a data source, you can test and see the results here. You can modify the query, you can select columns, you will be uh, made available in this data set. I will keep the three one that I selected. You can also make some cache configurations and data refresh configurations, but I won't be doing this in this demo. Let me just add Nexus, save it. So now here we have our data set. So the next step is create the dashboard itself. And to do this, we use the page feature, which is behind the design menu. Let me come here. You can see that I didn't create any page, so let me create one right now. Uh, run it tasks page. Okay, so what we have here is a drag and drop uh, page that allows us to create other pages to be displayed on uh, process automation. And we have basic uh, HTML features like this field here. So let me drag it. Run it as per process definition add some style okay. and to access our data set we will need what is behind the reporting uh, group so let for example select a table drag it here and you can select any type of um, component to one to access the data set I will keep table select my data set and now you can see that um, the table is already ready to be displayed you just have to select data set you can do more configuration you can remove columns or uh, do other configurations here in this in this part of this tool but I will keep the defaults here we have our table and what else you can do you can for example drag a chart uh, so like, I don't know, let the API chart here. Same thing, you select the data source and then you save. And here you have, you have a report. So now let's save it. And the last step is to make it available for users. And to do this, we go here on the left side, select navigation. You can add it, the page to any of these menus. You can create other groups, but let just keep it simple. Let create create it behind track. Okay. New page. Select the page. Save. Okay. So we are now done. You can see here uh, the page we just created. Let's access it, and here it is. Okay, so that's basically it. There are a lot of features to explore, but to create base reports, this is what you have to do. You create a data set and then you go to the page, design the page, and then add it to the navigation. Also, the security can be configured here, uh, but for now we won't be doing security configuration. I think you can come here and look for the security. From here, select the the user, 
and then uh, add any permission you want to any page here. But for now, let's keep the other simple. So that is, uh, um, I recommend you to explore this functionality.